Hi guys! In this video, we are going to see some different experimental photography techniques such as photomontage, intervene photography, stop motion, and narrative photography. Now come on, let's start! Photomontage is always fun to play with, and here's what you need. Magazine, a lot of them. Scissors, glue, and paper. From this magazine, you can cut a bunch of images as much as you like. The more, the better. Let the fun part begin by arranging those images. So once you have them the way you like it, glue them. And now, voila, you have your own photo montage. With intervened photography, you can do anything you want, like cutting it, scratching it, erasing it, or painting it like what I'm going to show you. You will need paints, a brush, a palette, and of course, a picture you want to work with. Okay, let's create your imagination. Here, for example, I'm imagining myself enjoying the rain. And that's how you make an intervene photography. Let's make Narrative Photography You will need a storyboard to guide you and other properties you might need for the story and don't forget your camera Start taking pictures according to your storyboard You can always improvise during the shots and also you can take the picture from different angles so later on you can have different options Once you've done, you can start to create that narrative by using free comic app on your phone or your tablet. Let's play with stop motion technique. You will need storyboard a camera to take a picture, and other stuff that you might need in your picture. Start taking pictures in a sequence according to your storyboard. Here's some tips. Try to keep the same distance between your camera and the picture. Or you can also use a tripod to help you. Here, I use PowerDirector to edit my pictures. I use ratio 16 to 9 for my stop motion. Now, import all your pictures, the one that you've been taking. Once you've done it, you can shorten them by one second or any length you like. It might take a little while, but trust me, you're going to like it. By using crop, you can adjust the pictures to the screen. After you've done all the process, now let's have Louis to run to see if you like it. Mm -hmm. 